Hi Cakers! This week I got a request and that's what this tutorial is based on. You've all seen these cakes. If you haven't made the little critters on these cakes in your cake decorator, oh you will sooner or later. So I'm going to show you how to make these little guys. I'm going to show you not one method, but I'm going to show you two methods. That's right, you heard me. I'm going to show you two methods. I'm just saying. I know it may seem easy, but nothing seems easy when you're beginning. Everything's hard. Everything takes a while to figure out. So I wanted to do this little tutorial to help the person who requested it and hopefully more of you out there. If you are new to caking, this will be a great little lesson for you. So why don't you take a moment to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any tutorial ideas in the comments below and I will try to come up with something to help you out. And if you decide to do anything that I've taught in this tutorial, or any of my past tutorials I would love to see your work so go ahead and tag me on Instagram this is my Instagram name so to start your bees you are just going to take a little bit of yellow fondant and you're going to roll it into a sort of little pill shape like that then all you have to do is take some black fondant and I'm gonna roll it really thin. I see sometimes that people put really chunky, thick stripes on and I don't really get that. So just roll it really thin and then I'm going to cut with my pizza cutter some narrow stripes. This one's a little too wide, so I'm gonna make one extra. So now the easiest way I think to do it is to take a little piece of parchment Especially since most of the time when you get an order for these bees, you're going to be doing multiple bees. So this is a good way to sort of create an assembly line. So I have my parchment paper and I'm going to just rub a little shortening on it. If I were doing multiple bees, I would have made these stripes longer. Okay. So then I'm just going to place them on my parchment with the shortening. I just flip them over so that the cornstarch side is facing up right now. And I'm going to place them on my parchment with the shortening. That way they stick and they won't slide around. So just place them about the distance apart that you want them, straighten them out. Now they'll stick to the shortening. So first I would make, if I was making a bunch, I would make a bunch of these little yellow balls. And then uh, one by one, I'm just gonna brush around the center with the water. And then I'm gonna trim one of, one of the sides so that they're all even. Then start with the bottom of your bee. And you're just gonna center them on the stripes. And then you're just gonna roll them along until he meets up again. That. Then I'm just going to take my exacto knife and cut. And then if you had longer strips that were stuck down with uh, Crisco, they would just keep going. And then you could just take your next bee and keep rolling along like that. So then we just have this underside, press that down. Then I'm just going to roll them in my fingers and make sure the stripes are nice and adhered to his body. And there you have your little bee covered in stripes. And you can quickly get a lot of these done if you use this method. All right, so that's method number one. I'm gonna show you method number two. Okay, so for the second method, which is to have the stripes flush and not laid over the body, I'm just gonna start by rolling a little piece of yellow fondant. I'm gonna cut a little bit off. And then I'm gonna roll the second piece just a little thinner than that one. So you can see one's thicker and one's thinner. Okay, I'm gonna cut, use my piping tip to cut one of the thicker one and three of the thinner. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this black fondant and I'm gonna roll it to the same about of the thinner yellow. And I'm gonna need three of those. 
Again, if I was doing a bunch of beads for a cake, I would do this assembly line style where I would cut out a bunch of each of these, you know, do the math, figure out how many of each disc you need, and then just cut them all out and put them under saran wrap and work one bee at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a thicker piece and I'm going to wet the back. You don't wanna drench it. You wanna wet it just enough. And then you're just gonna alternate your colors. We've got a little stripe pill. Then I'm gonna roll them around on any cornstarch I have left on my work surface just to sort of sop up any of the water because the water tends to make the black lead a little bit onto the yellow. So the cornstarch helps that not to happen if you just sort of roll it in there before you start working it with your hands. Okay, and so now all you have to do is sort of compress it this way. You don't wanna to go too much to where you lose your stripes, but just so that they're sandwiched together and nice and stuck together. And then all you have to do from there is just roll the edges a little bit so you're rounding out the ends of his face and his little bum. And that's it, till you get this little pill shape. Ta-da! There you should be. I probably prefer the look of this method. It just looks a little cleaner to me, but whichever you prefer. And then if you want a little stinger, you can just come in with a little ball of fondant, pull it between your fingers until it comes to a little point. Take your bee, decide which one you want to be its bottom, which one you want to be its face. Add a little water, stick on the little stinger. You don't have to have a stinger, it's kind of cute. So for the wings, I just rolled out a little bit of white fondant. And then I have this little heart cutter that I got, it came in a set. And I'm just going to cut a couple of those out. Paintbrush go. I lost my paintbrush. Oh, I found it. Anyway, I'm gonna cut out a smaller heart shape too for this little one. So I just need a little bit of water on his little spine. I'm gonna place that down. And then with a the tool, I'm just gonna do a little push down, lift the sides of the heart up. Those little wings. You could do different shapes for his wings. You could use little half circles if you want, but this is just really easy if you have these heart shaped cutters around. So for this little guy, I'm gonna use the smaller heart. So you just lay it down with the point facing his head and then just press down the center. Lift. and then the little wings will come up. And typically with these bees, they're going to be put on your cake. Some of them will be on wire, so they'll be sort of flying around the cake. So at this stage, I usually poke the bottom with wire and let it dry with a little hole. And then once they're fully dry, I'll stick them on the wire when they are ready to go on the cake. I like to do that before I paint the eyes, just so that I don't smear the eyes. Okay, to paint the eyes, I just have some black food color. And I usually just use whatever's in the lid. I dip a tool in, a toothpick, a really skinny paintbrush, whatever you have around. And I'm gonna dot the eyes like that. 